Like, I would send him like what I made, you know, like he would send me what he made, and I would be like, oh, that's pretty good. What are we cooking today, Chego? Uh, we're cooking chicken, broccoli, we're gonna make some potatoes, um, and yeah, that's it. So now, have you been cooking your whole life, or is this something that just started when you got mm, to college? Well, I've been cooking like from, whew, it's been like almost eight years. I was just okay. saying, I started cooking like when I was 14, when I moved from my family. So, and then here, I think, we just started, I mean like, because we both know how to cook and we were always talking about it, like, yeah, yeah let's make something and stuff like that. Because like we study together, we, we do almost everything together. So, we were just like, yeah, let's cook sometimes. And I, I, I always put it on the Snapchat and mm -hmm. like people were saying like, oh, you should make a food page, you should make a food page. <laughs> so, so you like got that. the page now, the Instagram, right? Yeah, we got an now Instagram. Chef Checo? Or no, it's a, it's a food check. Food check, okay. Food check, yeah. And how, how many followers does that have now? Right now, I think around like... More than 500? Yeah, 500. Like two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. It's so. Quick. When did you start to get good at cooking? Was it, did, like, were, did it come naturally? Was the first time you cooked, was it a gourmet meal? Or? Oh, definitely You probably not. had to learn for a while, first, right? First meal ended up in the trash. Uh, <laughs> and just like, <laughs> I feel like experience, like, you know, like you're practicing, you're getting mm -hmm. better, you know how to make chicken, then you move to the steak, then you move like to more complicated stuff, then you're trying to, like the presentation. So your, your teammates ever say, hey, Checo, make us dinner tonight. <laughs> Practice. So, Checo, what are you making? <laughs> yeah, that, I, I got that a lot now, but I, I will cook for Ivan because he's my like right. uh, roommate, you know, but like I, I made, I think, like the pasta for like, like Jared, Andrew came through and like a couple guys because I had like a lot, so I like send them a text message. They like, like it? Yeah, they love, they <laughs> crash it. Like, I was like, whoa, <laughs> this is like, Fun, right. you know, like basketball is like a serious, like especially Big Ten game. Mm -hmm. Like, like you don't <laughs> want to just like have fun. I mean, like the point is like have fun in basketball, but this is like no pressure, you right. know. Like, you know, uh, especially when we are just like both of us in the kitchen, mm -hmm. now like this scene. <laughs> so now I'm kind of like sweating. Uh, <laughs> like I'm just thinking, don't mess up the chicken. <laughs> right? You guys watch a lot of cooking shows. That well, actually, I was well. watching, <laughs> there's a new one, I think, on the Food Network, mm -hmm. when they, like, have to have, like, time limit, they have to, like, pick... Oh, uh, was it Cutthroat Kitchen? Yeah, yeah, that is so funny. You want to try to go on it, maybe? No, 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 no. that's, that's, I would freak out, like, they would take my onions, like, what I'm going to do now, like, you know? Well, let's see, it's a moment of truth, I'm expecting good things. Oh. Hopefully, hopefully. Wow, there's Cutthroat Kitchen going for us. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do pretty well in Cutthroat Kitchen. No, thank you. <laughs> it's good.